like to start off with with wishing Damien Duff and Shelburne, of course, congrats with the uh, with the win in the league. It was a really exciting finale on the league, so congrats to to them. Uh, yeah, from from last from last squad, um, as you as you see, there's a few absentees from that squad, mostly or yeah solely because of injuries. Um, Gio will be out for about eight, nine months, uh, and we of course send him all his best. He just made an operation on his Achilles, and and uh, now let's see and hope that his recovery will be will be a successful one. Uh, Robbie with, uh, if I remember right, an ankle ankle injury for eight weeks out. Uh, probably been one of our consistent players since since I came. Um, Will be sadly missed. Same Jack Taylor, uh, hamstring injury. Uh, Jamie McGrath has uh, need to do some uh, vascular operation, um, and then Andrew Obama Deli um, has had some issues with his patella uh, and been struggling getting getting game time. So, so a few absentees from a camp that we were quite pleased with. Uh, instead, Callum O'Dowda comes in again. He was with us. Uh, a, f a few days in the beginning of the first camp, so nice to have him back. He's been playing really well for for Cardiff. Um, Seamus Coleman, of course, is is fit and ready, uh, and we're excited to have him back. Uh, Shane Duffy as well, um, and um, it's good to have him. He's been close. Uh, we have wanted to call him, but we have a lot of good centre backs in the squad, so. Uh, cannot cannot pick them all, but it's a good time now to see him, his experience and and his character is is welcomed in the squad, and then the two young guys from Stoke, Tom Cannon uh, and Andy Moran, uh, both been playing really well. So um, these are the guys coming in the squad at this stage, and I've said before um, that this will probably be our last chance to experiment, give players chance to to play. Even though we want to take steps and progress as a team, we, we, we also like to see some players getting their minutes and, and yeah, giving them a chance to play because next next year all matches will be official matches and important matches. So it gives us no chance next year to 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 give or to do experiments on, on, on players. Wanna jump in? Thank you. Thank you, Hamer. Um, any further questions from you, Tony? Nathan. Uh, hi, Amber. Um, Andrew Moran in the squad. Can you just talk about that uh, role in the team, that sort of advanced midfield role, or maybe just playing off the strike? You've obviously tried quite a few players over the recent games, and Finizaz, Will Smallbone, Troy Parrott, Jack Taylor coming off the bench. What What do you want from from that role and that that player, whoever it is? Well, it, it always depends on who you play. In. Uh, you know what what kind of role this this one is normally when you play good teams it needs to be a, a balance a, a balancing player that can defend really well when we need to but also be creative on the ball so i would say we're, we're, lo we're looking for someone that can do both um, but it's not always that case sometimes you're better in 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 possession than out of possession etc but andy is a is a is a young player who who can I would say, who has a good engine in him, good pressing, he's quick back into shape, um, been impressive, uh, but we didn't want to pick him. I, I think we all expect him to become a national team player in the future, but we didn't select him because of the under-21. We wanted the under-21 to qualify for the for their finals, uh, but now is the time to, to bring him in and see him and just evaluate him, how he is in the squad uh, and what he can give us and we're just excited to, to have him on board now. Matt Doherty is not in the squad, why? The same, uh, last last uh, press conference I explained and again, and again I said it now, we want to explore uh, all the players in that position, we know exactly what he can do, him and Seamus have uh, have been kind of stuck in the starting eleven for Ireland for a long time. They have done really good for the nation. Uh, we know exactly what he can give us, so we don't need to see him or test him. Uh, and 
this is the, the last chance before the seriousness start. What did you make of his recent interview where he said that he feels he, he should be in the squad whether he's he's playing or not? He felt somewhat disrespected by the fact that Omar Bamadele had been playing right back. Have you, have you spoken to him since that interview? No, I haven't. And I, and I have to be honest, I didn't read it. I just just heard about it. So, But listen, uh, all players should feel that they should be playing. They, they should have the confidence to to feel that they, they should be playing. And I would be unhappy if somebody thinks that they didn't deserve to play. Um, he's He has a lot of experience, experience that can help us. Uh, but, and like I said, now now we want to test other players in these positions. I, I told you before the last camp that we will use these two two camps to explore a bit at least. So that's what we're doing. Do you think he'll play for Ireland again? I hope so. Uh, just in Festia Fazelli, I guess he's listed amongst the uh, forwards. I don't know <laughs> whether we can read anything into that. What, what do you see his role uh, within the squad and, and the positions he can play? Festi is a, is a little bit different kind of player. Uh, uh, again, it, really exciting. He can he can do things that just blow your mind. Speed. Uh, last game for for what he played a, a right back in the first half and left back in the second half and and was good at both. Uh, he's he is he is really good going forward. Really good going forward. And there's not many that have his speed. So no, he, he can play a lot of roles. Where 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 Kieran put him on the on this list, I'm not sure. But he can play a lot of roles. And, and uh, for example, in the Greece game, he started as a winger, ended up as a as a fullback. So that's also good to have a player that you can move and tweak uh, in game. Finally, can I just ask you about Chidozio uh, Bene and the severity of that injury? He's obviously become such an important player for Ireland over the last couple of years. To to miss eight or nine months at, at this stage of his career is a, just such a huge setback. Yeah, it is, and it just it, it seems to be happening more and more that players get long-term injuries. Um, if it's because of the load, you know, I'm not sure. Is a, is a is a lot of talk about the load on on players. So, um, but you know, listen, th this is something that happens. I know he is strong enough to come back. Mentally, it's just how physically he, he he will react to this. So hopefully, hopefully his recovery will be will be good. The load you talk about, do you have to factor that into when you're selecting your team, or do you have to be selfish and think you just pick your best team for these these games? Yeah, we always like to think that we can pick our best team, but players normally come with some precautions from the clubs. So it's just the cooperation between the national team and the clubs. Uh, and if there is an issue from the clubs, we it, we normally get know that in advance that they would advise not to play a certain player two times in 90 minutes in three days like the national team so so we just it's it's just a cooperation to try to to keep the players healthy is it is to our benefit as well that the irish national team players are healthy Kevin King, please. Yeah, hi, uh, given our relative lack of options at left back does ryan Manning close to make the squad and what reason yeah he he was he's been playing quite well so we've been happy with him he was he was close he was close, uh, and we are monitoring his situation. It's good to have a player playing in the Premier League at this this position. There are more players as well, playing playing well. So no, we just opted for this squad now. But yeah, he was close. Any particular reasons why you prefer Callum in that position for Ryan? Say again. Any particular reasons you prefer Callum over Ryan? Yeah, we we have worked with Callum. Callum has been really good playing for 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 Cardiff, man of the match performances, and he knows what we are doing. Um, yeah, and was quite unlucky to to need to go home from the first camp, so we still haven't seen him play. Well, I haven't seen him play for us, so that was that is the priority now. And then Alan Brown has been a regular in Ireland squads over the last few years. He's admitted again this time around. What are your reasons for that? No, just others. Others are ahead of him. Um, I watched him yesterday, played really well yesterday. Um, but I think that was the third start he had for Sunderland for about two months. So he's coming back. Hopefully he will get his, his, his full fitness. And if he continues to play like yesterday, uh, you know, it's, it's good times ahead for him. Any further questions in the live section?
Paul, please, thank you. Uh, anyway, I just, just wanted to ask you about Harry Connolly. The last uh, he came out with an interview, I think it was the, around the Finland game, and just kind of came out and said uh, the issues he was having. I was just wondering if you had any discussions with him. I know he's not relatively match fit, but just in general. Yeah, no, I, I didn't know. Just uh, maybe a two two days ago, I, I knew about this interview. It was I think we were in camp when it when it when it when he gave it. But a brave brave guy doing it, uh, and it's a good step for him. Um, and we've been we've been watching him. He, we will we will continue watching him, of course, like everyone else. We we would like not to miss anyone. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I think it was brave, and we. we we have to compliment him for for doing the interview, and let's hope that they will take him to higher places, better places, and and he will get find his form again. Uh, I know in the in the past, uh, not I don't know him much, but in the past uh, he was considered one of the the ones that could potentially become come the big ones. Dan, um, hey, Matt. Um, well, Shane Duffy, someone when he came into the job that you always thought would be in your plans and he's obviously been a big part of the Irish team over a longer period than a lot of the other players. Yeah, he he definitely was one that has been has been in the in the squad in the past. Um I I really wanted to see the, the younger centre backs. We have a lot of upcoming exciting young young centre backs. So we in the beginning we we, we, we went for the younger younger players. But I felt, um, especially last camp, and I think the camp before, uh, there was some some areas we we can improve. For example, um, we lost a lot of duels, especially against Greece uh, in the first half. So and, and his just leadership and his character will probably help us in that area. So I think it's good to see. What he brings in, and, and I hope that will be the the attributes he will come in with a, with a leadership, with a little bit more steel, and winning duels, especially set pieces, etc. So I hope that is the what, what he will bring into the squad at the stage. Okay, thank you, guys. Again, to the board room. Uh, joint live. <laughs> thank you very much. Cheers, thanks.